Hey guys, it's Erica. Right now I am at such a cool plant shop and it's in the San Fernando Valley. It's really close to CSUN, so if you go to CSUN, you should definitely check this place out. It's called Desert Creations and they pretty much just have a whole bunch of really cool cacti and succulents and I'm so excited to be here. It's really cool. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna look what they got because they have a lot. This is a hidden gem for sure. <laughs> so here's kind of an overview and I'm telling you this place has so much. They have a lot. I don't even know where to begin. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be a long tour. I can feel it. So here they just have like really big things going on and then look at this and everything. I don't know what this is but most of their things their plants are labeled which is one of my favorite things ever um yeah i haven't even seen or heard of so many of these these are like it's just so crazy to be here this is a tephro cactus for 45 they already have their little pots and their kind of like soil thing going on there's different kinds i guess this one's more bare. It kind of looks like a, a worm. <laughs> and then this one is like one that I just saw recently. And I guess it's a tephro cactus. But it kind of looks like it has like overgrown fingernails on it. <laughs> so cool. And then we have some Mammillaria Parkinsonii's for 175. And these bibbas are, they look fluffy. Down here, there's an echino echinopsis for 15, and then notocactus, this guy, notocactus con conchinus, multi, multi, multi costatus. Okay, this is the first time that I'm reading the name, so. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of reading them so horribly. But this is a Sulcarabuchia for 20. Notocactus ublemanianus. Okay, I'm just gonna write down all the names here because I don't know like most of these names and I'm gonna be shocked if I know any of them. There's a whole bunch of these little guys for $8. These are just so cool and some of them are even flowering. This one kind of looks like a bird's nest. I wouldn't be surprised if it was called a bird's nest cactus. What is not? Oh my gosh, look how fuzzy this one. This one's so fuzzy, it looks like a little puffle. <laughs> These guys. They're just crazy. They have the Spiralis cactuses here. These are $100 each. I'm telling you, these guys are expensive, but they're really cool. I remember the first time I saw one, I was like, that's a really cool cactus. I'm gonna buy one. And then I saw the price and I was like, uh? <laughs> But there's so many of them, oh my gosh. I just untied my shoe. Okay. And then this one has a little buddy hanging out over there. I don't know if he's there on accident, but he's there. This one has some crazy hair. Crazy wires. And then this is the cactus that I've been wanting. If you watch a lot of my videos, I've mentioned this a lot of times and it's called a uh, Lofseria Shodii Monstros and this is $75 isn't it so beautiful it's just so like lumpy and smooth and it has no spines I just love it so much there's another one over here 
Look at it. Oh my gosh, I love it. So cute. And here, look at this guy. This guy looks like a dandelion. It has like a bunch of dandelion feathery things going on. That's very cool. I kind of want to touch it, but I don't really want to touch these plants. They seem very like they don't want to be touched. Like their whole entire evolution has led to not wanting to be touched. This guy's fuzzy. I don't know if this is an old man cactus. That's like the only cactus name that I know. These are so cool. They kind of look like a basket, with like netting and stuff. Ooh. Look at this guy. This guy's really tall. He's a hair on top. These are just fuzzy babies. Hairy baby. These kind of look like little acorns or something. And then there's another one of the one that I like. I think this one is not for sale though. Look at it. That one is so tall. I love it. Here's a little dragon fruit. Hmm. Look at this whole entire area. Like this is just one tiny section. It's insane. Down here, these are all diasaurias. I really love caudex plants. And caudex plants are basically these plants that have like, this is a caudex, and then they just grow like that. They, they come out of dormancy and then they just grow. And then they'll go dormant and just be that little kind of lump again. But I think these ones are kind of asleep. And I really want to get, um, more caudex plants because i love them the only one that i have right now is an elephant types and i saw a giant one that i'm so excited to show you guys because it's it's the biggest one that i've ever seen in my life look at this one this one kind of has similar leaves to an elephant types but so pretty so these ones are definitely, I think, going dormant. <gasps> you guys, I spot some lithops. Oh no, I don't. <gasps> I do! Look at these babies! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, look at this gasteria. These are so cool. I'm probably gonna buy a lot of plants from here. I'm gonna try to hold myself back. <gasps> I like that one, it's orange. I think that this is a really good mix for the lithops to be in. I think they take very good care of them. They look pretty, pretty good. Um, look how cool this is. I've never seen a lithops that looks like this. Or this, I really like this one orange this one is ten dollars i might get it i'm probably gonna get it i don't know though we have to kind of disperse disperse the money <laughs> around all these different kinds of plants and these have like all the names of, of the lip flops on them which is crazy because i had no clue like what all their different names were and I'm probably gonna reference this video a lot in the future so wow I'm gonna try to put them all the names in the description too so it makes it kind of easier to see just all together so cool there's some more guys over here these lithops there's a lot of ones in here. Oh, these ones are like raviolis. They kind of are like, they, they're like puffy. They're like raviolis, just, yeah. <laughs> and, oh, there's another one. See, I thought this was called a totem cactus, 
It honestly might be called a totem cactus, but look at it. Oh my gosh. And then here, yeah, I don't know what these guys are doing. I don't really know much about desert plants, so they're just, they're just living, they're just living their little lives probably. <laughs> Ooh, look at this big mama. I really like this color rock. I know that doesn't really matter, but <laughs> I like that color rock. I think these are desert flowers, desert roses, adenias. I'm not 100% sure though, so I will either confirm or deny. Oh, these are some cool Sansevierias. These kind of look like um, samurai dwarfs and stuff. And these look like kirky eyes. They're fast. This one's a fasciata. These look like kirky eyes. Some kind of kirky eye. But again, I'm not 100% sure. And then look at these little babies. What is going on with these? They look like little radishes or something. Okay, let's, let's move on because we got a lot of ground to cover and I'm kind of being very slow. Oh, these are like little pickles. They are so cute. <laughs> and then some more of these perhaps old man cactuses. Not sure completely. <gasps> There's baby ones of these. Look at this. Okay, this one is called. Oh, this is the same one. Lofsaria shodii monstros. This one's laying down. There's another one here too. These ones are $75 as well. And there's just a whole lot going on here. <gasps> you guys, they have a booby cactus. <laughs> This one is $85. These are kind of hard to come by too. So that's cool. I'm sure a lot of these plants here are hard to come by, but I don't know enough to be like, yep, there's there's one that you're only gonna find here. We're still moving along. I'm trying to kind of balance between making this the longest tour of my life and kind of getting through it a little more quickly. Oh, these are just so cool. This is not the place you wanna go if you're trying to not buy plants because, what the heck? Oh, look at this one. I kind of hope I find an obesity here. That's one of my favorite cacti. I think it's a cactus. And then I'm, I definitely, oh my gosh, there's just so many cool plants. I'm really excited to find the, hmm, what are they called? Oh my gosh, I see some. Okay, so these kind of look like the plants that you would find at... Home Depot, I guess. And someone told me that those are dragon fruits with a little cactus attached. So this is kind of like the bougie version of that, I guess. <laughs> because this is for sure not a uh, dragon fruit. So this is like a cactus and then it has this guy placed on top. And then look over here. Look at that little baby one. It's so colorful. Ortego cactus, Macdogali. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna butcher the names anymore, but here I go. Such beautiful flowers. And these guys are so cute. Oh, look at them. There's so many different kinds. Wow. 
I like these a lot. There's even bigger ones though. Look how big these are. Wow. I don't think I've seen them for sale this big. I don't really go to its like specialty cactus stores though, so I don't know how much that I know. Look at these guys. These guys look like pine cones that haven't opened yet. You know what I'm talking about? And then there's even more booby cactuses. Oh my gosh. These ones are only like 55. I think, I don't know, but I think it sounds pretty good. And then I think that these are spiralis ones too. It says spiralis. I think these are just like really small ones. <gasps> I kind of want a really small one. And then there's some fuzzy babies. These are just all spiralis ones. And they say that they're seed grown. They're little babies. I don't I don't know if they curl like as they get older, but that's probably what happens. These are really fuzzy. Okay, you guys, I found the obesas. I love Euphorbia obesas because they're just so round and cute. Look at them. This one is so big. And then there's also some fizzle sizzles here, and these are $12. These look really good. They're very, very curly. And there's some more guys over here. These are like the dark cacti over here. These give you like your, well, not that one, but these three right here give you like your goth vibes in a cactus form. It's really crazy that like all plants, well not all of them because some of them are like hybridized together and stuff, but like these plants are in the wild. Like if you go, I don't know where they grow, but let's just say Arizona because I think Arizona is like a desert. <laughs> but if you go to Arizona and you're just walking around in the desert, you can find plants like this. Look how cool it is. I'm sorry if I'm going really slow or really fast. I keep saying that, but I just really want to get everything, but also not be too slow. There's just so many plants going on. Look at these guys. These are so like sculptural. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then also I just want to say there are a whole bunch of succulents everywhere, but I feel like these succulents, I don't need to like get into them, but just so you know, there's a whole bunch of crazy succulents here too. Okay. Look at these guys. This is really cool. It's a spiky. Oh, there's another one up here too. Hmm. I like the dirt that these are in. Look at these guys. Oh, I'm kind of blocking the sun. Are these obesas? I don't know, but they kind of look like eggplants. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, we're gonna head over here to the, I don't know if these are like, I don't know what's going on, but 
We're heading over here. Oh, these are just some aloes over there. These are the succulents. And I see more lithops. Oh, they're just so cute. And some little baby toes. Baby toesies. Oh my gosh, these are huge. Pliospilos. I've never seen any of this gigantic. These are pretty massive. Wow. Ooh, this is a di Diasoria elephant types. This is the one that I have. Mine right now is blooming. This one looks like he's asleep though. And I absolutely love this plant. This is like, oh my gosh. Um, Codex plants are just so cool. Like once they grow, it's one of the most rewarding things because they grow so quickly and you can really notice how much they've grown because they came from just like a little like pebble like that. It looks like a seed from a fruit or something. Look at these. I'm just gonna have to grab this because this is really cool. They're very textured. Oh, that's so cool. This guy's $8. There's some more babies over here. Um, yeah, they might be asleep too. There's some euphorbias. That's one of the names that I recognize. Oh, these probably look so cool when they're blooming or actively growing. Look at that big guy. He is huge. Some more plants. They all look like they're sleeping. These are really big. They're like potatoes. Oh my gosh. I just know these are probably huge when they're growing. What the heck? I'm going through seeing all the cool plants. There's so many. guys here these are euphorbias <gasps> there's more obesas here look at them oh they're so fat and round look at this one that one's like perfect oh my gosh this one is big these are crazy little guys. Oh, this is probably how they look like when they're blooming. I actually was not expecting that. There's some more here. They're just really spiky. Spiky babies. It's 
Some of these look like vegetables. This looks like a carrot. Pomoea. That that's like a a yam, right? A pomoea. A type of mm, what is it called? It's not a yam. Sweet potato? Are sweet potatoes yams? Okay, check it out. These are all of the elephant types and look how pretty they are. They have these heart-shaped leaves and oh my gosh, I highly recommend this plant. It's so easy to take care of too. You just kind of water it, but when you water it, try not to touch the, um, the oh, I just forgot what it's called, but don't, don't touch that little lump you just water around it or i like to bottom water mine and they grow so fast and they're just so amazing and i love mine so much uh oh look how tiny these little leaves are and when they get bigger they kind of look like that their their little like rocks start splitting and it looks like a turtle i mean yeah like a turtle shell so cool there's so many here look how big this one's leaves are and then we have all the cool Haworthias here too! Oops. I love Haworthias. Ooh, look at this one. So many truncatas. Oh my gosh. I like this one right here. Well, I'm not gonna take it out, it's kind of difficult, but specifically that one because it looks super shiny. And I really like that. I really like that look. But I hope you guys can see all these different kinds here. variegated. I've never seen a variegated one. This one's gonna bloom. This one looks like a flower. There's really so many. I like this one too. Oh, these are big. Oh, this one is so colorful. Wow. There's also some Hoyas here. So they have Hindu ropes for 30. Uh, this is not a lacunosa. This is a crimson princess. It says lacunosa, but I'm pretty sure this is a crimson princess. <gasps> you guys, this is a Hoya multiflora, and mine kind of looks like this, but a lot worse. <laughs> I don't know how much it is. Oh, here. $20. Yeah, it's a really cool plant. There's more. And there's a carry eye for 30. Obovada. How much is the obovada? You don't know. Oh, 25 for the obovada. It's really big leaves. And I think that's all the Hoyas. But look at this like trail of Dysoria elephant type leaves. Like, I can't wait to see where that's coming from. You guys, I found these little cutie ones. I love those. They're so adorable. And there's a bunch of Tillandsias here. 
they're so cute. And there's a giant cubic calyx here. It's pretty big. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's a, what is it called? An orchid. I'm not sure what kind though. And there's just a bunch of cool hanging plants here. You can sit down here, chill, look at all the cool plants. Okay, they also have a bunch of kind of rocks here so you can mix your own little soils. And I think that's really cool because I like the kind of rocks they have here. Specifically like those. <laughs> so you can have a really good soil mixture for your plants. Oh, here we go. That's how much it is. Look at these little baby lithops. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. Oops. Oops. There's a lot of cool plants here, you guys. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is an elephant type so when it gets big and it gets looking like a um, tortoise. Look how amazing this is. And they're little heart shaped leaves. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. There's more bibis here. Look at this. That's really cool. There's another one here. I don't think I've seen that before. Oh, and there's even bigger ones. These are so massive. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at this leaf. Are you kidding me? This is the biggest leaf ever. How is that even a thing? We're gonna find the plant that this belongs to, but Oh my gosh, this is massive. I cannot express to you how ginormous this leaf is right now. You guys, it's coming from here. This is a Desoria Mexicana. Someone bought it. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. It kind of reminds me of like Jumanji by how giant it is. Oh, that's so cool. And then look at this little baby. This is how I want mine to look. Oh my gosh. It is flourishing. It is living its little life. Doing amazing. Deniums. These are some growing ones. I'm always really shocked by how their leaves look. Look at these guys. They look like little hearts. Just popping out of the ground. Empomoia. Oh yeah, Empomoia batata. Right? That's a yam or a sweet potato. I'm pretty sure it is. But look at these. There's like a little rupsalis here. And then right here. I kind of want to get a rupsalis. I might get one of those. Oh, I know what I wanted. I want a Stefania. So hopefully, I find one of those. Hmm. I just can't get enough of these guys. They're so big. 
They're just so big and flourishing. There's so many, oh my gosh. There's hearts everywhere. I love it. Yes. This is a ficus. Hmm. Some more crazy guys growing over here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even show you guys like the biggest the biggest baby yet. <laughs> Look at how massive it is. Oh my gosh. It's so amazing. This thing is probably so old. It's freaking huge and it looks so good. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. It's probably very long and I just got two little plants here. Uh, so I have this one. This is a Ripsalis Ewaldiana. El El Diana. And I love it. It's so small. It's, it's literally just the smallest thing. It was $10 so I got that guy. And then over here I got a Euphorbio Visa finally and this one was $15 and he's just so perfectly round and I love him so much uh, so I asked uh, the lady working there um, because I wanted a Stefania and I didn't see any so I I kind of thought about it and I was like oh they're probably there's probably no Stefanias here because they're dormant right now and she was she was like yeah we're gonna get some in march so i'm probably gonna come back here in march because i've been wanting a stefania and that's probably why so many of the codex plants were dormant and i don't know why i didn't think of that it's just because all the elephant types right now are growing so i don't know why i just assumed all of them were growing but yep i hope you enjoyed the video uh give it a thumbs up if you did and you can subscribe to my channel for more plant stuff if you want to. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!